Are we working? We're working. Looks good. Looks good. Good morning, guys. What's going on, everybody? Uh, welcome. Uh, uh, I'm Fireball, and this is Art Talk at 8. Is it 8? It's like 7.58 or something like that. A little bit early. Uh, going to try to hit it right on time for you guys. Uh, we got a got a, a lot of things to go over today. Uh, if you're new to Art Talk or if you have not been and seen our vlog, uh, which airs at FireballTim.com, uh, we, we do fun stuff with cars, uh, inspiration, and beach life, and lots of cool stuff. Uh, there's nobody watching at the moment, but that's going to change any second when people start to see what's going on. Um, today... Uh, we, we, like I said, we have a, a few things to go on. I don't like looking at the ceiling, though. Maybe we should rotate it down a little bit. That's a little bit better. You know, it's important to get the hats in there. I, I don't know why. It doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, uh, Ivan, good morning. You're the first, the first, uh, what do they say? The first, um, uh, up for bids? No, I don't know. It's some kind of game show term. Uh, good morning, Ivan. Uh, so today, um, uh, Fumahiro uh, Mori is watching. All right, Fumahiro, thanks for joining me. That's the first time I think I've seen you here. Um, so this is Art Talk at 8, and my job here on this show is to try and help you guys um, extract the most as a creative person. Uh, we are creative beings. Uh, it doesn't matter what you're creative in. It could be as a chef. It could be uh, creating a business plan. It could be as an artist sculptor, musician, it doesn't really matter what it is. Uh, we are all creative beings and we create. That's what we do. That's what our job here on earth is. And uh, and maybe other places too. I don't really know. Um, but uh, today, um, I want to uh, kind of go over something that I know is a challenge for everybody. And uh, today's subject uh, deals with how to stay positive in a world of negativity. And, and that's a challenge because Staying positive is a place uh, from which you can be creative. It's, uh, uh, it's something that, that uh, expands and flows. And negativity is something that contracts. It's something that uh, depletes. And we are challenged every single day, all day, uh, in dealing with this kind of stuff. Is how do we stay positive? You know, how do we stay positive? And uh, is it possible to be positive all the time, all day? Uh, that's something we're going to get into. Uh, so uh, once again, if you're new to this show, this is Art Talk at 8. I am Fireball. Uh, that is my legal first name. I'm not messing around. Uh, doing the real the real deal here. And uh, and we're along with the vlog, we're trying to figure out a way to be able to help you guys uh, expand your creative flow and do it in a live format so that you can actually ask questions. And you can ask questions of me in this show in real time. Uh, unless you're watching it on YouTube later on, which it gets posted to YouTube and a variety of other places. But right now we are live. Uh, Nitrous Jelly is watching. What a freaking cool name. Nitrous Jelly. Dang. That's that's the, one of the best names I've seen in a while. Robert Smith, wh thanks for, uh, for joining me today. Um, uh, if you don't know who I am, I am Fireball. This is Art Talk at 8. And we're going to talk today about how to expand your creativity by dealing with negativity in your life, uh, whether it's a negative situation, it's a negative people, uh, we call them Dr. Nose, uh, the evil Dr. Nose, like from James Bond. Um, and, uh, and before we start, I'll give you a little story. Um, my dad, uh, his name is Anthony Lawrence, you can Google him, he's uh, uh, one of the most published writers in Hollywood, and he wrote original Outer Limits, Twilight Zones, all that stuff. And so I grew up with my dad uh, writing uh, Bonanza and all kinds of amazing TV shows. And uh, he, you know, in dealing with the studios, you know, you have to write a script and you got to turn it in and you got to get notes and all this kind of stuff. But basically they've hired you and, and they're going to pay you to do this job. But uh, one day my dad was down in town. We were living in Ojai at the time, which is outside of Ventura. And uh, he went to a, the grocery store and he was talking to the butcher there. And the butcher um, found out that my dad was a writer and he said, God, I'd love to read some of your stuff one of these days and, and that would be really great and I, it might inspire me. So my dad said, yeah, sure, I'll grab you a script. So he, he grabbed a script the next time and he went down. Uh, Felix, uh, thanks for joining me. Who else we got? Felix, uh, Robert, thanks for joining me. Uh, yeah, very cool. Uh, so he, he brought a script down to the, to the store and gave it to the butcher, you know, the butcher read it and then, uh, and then my dad came back to pick it up and the butcher proceeded to criticize the script. And and to uh, uh, to kind of you know not pull any punches, let him know it didn't work, things like that. 
And that became a metaphor, at least a metaphor in my life, is that there's there's butchers everywhere. There's butchers everywhere. And not as a negative thing if you're a butcher, because that's that's something that you do. But the point is that uh, butchers in life, uh, people that uh, will go out of their way to deplete you, to keep you down because they don't necessarily feel good about themselves, you can't do anything about those people. Um, you can't change those people, and you shouldn't try to change those people. Uh, as a creative person, it's not about those people. It's about how you react to any given situation. And uh, what's important to realize is that when you react to something, you uh, you put a vibration out there, and that's what's coming back to you. So what if you if you react angrily, if you react insecure, if you react uh, pissed off in some way, you don't want to put that stuff out there because that contracts. That contracts your soul, contracts where you're coming from. It's not a creative space. It's not a positive space for you to be able to create fluidly and to expand and enhance your life and to bring the things that you want in your life. So what's important is that there are negative family members. You may have a brother or a sister or a mom or dad or or uh, aunt or uncle or neighbor or anybody else that just kind of digs in there and, and you know and, and gives you a hard time and, and you know those those butchers in your life. But the worst butcher, the worst butcher by far, is not any of the ones that are out there. The worst butcher is the one right in here, the one that's telling you you can't do something or you're you're not good enough or whatever it is that you grew up with and those those habitual thoughts. So you have to begin to change that dialogue in your mind. And there's a circuit that's going on in your brain. And the circuit is that you think of, let's say, the color red, and you associate love to that color, you associate a Ferrari, you associate all things are red, and that circuit completes all the way around back to you again. And we have billions of those circuits, and those are the meanings we attach to certain things. And you may think of your dad, and then you think of love, you may think of hate, you may think of uh, you know, he's a jerk. You may think of, uh, I really love him or, or whatever it is. And you have a circuit that's there. And that circuit has been attached uh, over time. And in order to change that circuit, you have to begin to think differently about that situation in order to unlatch your connection with certain things and to latch new connections. Uh, there's many, been many speakers out there that have talked about uh, how to do that, how to how that process. And I think that uh, Tony Robbins said it uh, uh, eloquently one time is that he said, go, you know, go back to a time when you were really afraid and you had a really difficult situation. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Greg. What's up, guys? You know, when you had a difficult situation and go back and close your eyes and remember that situation the way it was. And then in your mind, change it slightly. Change it from uh, the guy was yelling at you, but now he's yelling at you and he's only wearing underwear. He's wearing, you know, pink polka dot underwear. Anything that you can start to change in your mind that will get you to unlatch that memory and that feeling to that negativity and latch something new to it. And something fascinating will happen. Something really unique will happen. And if you do this for a few minutes and you begin to visualize that same situation slightly differently uh, to where you eventually laugh at it, it's something that you have a different feeling, a different attachment to it, then you can't go back. You can't go back and think of the original feeling and the original thing because suddenly you'll be thinking about pink underwear. You'll be thinking about other things that maybe he's wearing flip-flops or maybe he's wearing something else. Good morning, Johnny. Good to see you, buddy. Hope you're having a spectacular day. Uh, I'm having a spectacular day. I got all my hats right there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's how you unlatch that negativity. So how do you deal with negativity? Basically, how, you know, how do you stay positive in a world of negativity? Well, you have to disavow, you have not to acknowledge and to uh, that negativity. There's a lot of stuff going on uh, politically and a lot of things, a lot of uh, different opinions about how things are done. But you have to protect yourself uh, as a creative person as you move forward. And, and creative people um, uh, put themselves out there. You know, they put themselves out there. They do something like uh, Johnny's pinstriping, right? Uh, or, uh, you know, if you're putting together a business plan or if you are doing something some kind of creative flow when you're building something or, or whatever it is that you're creating. And the moment that you show it to someone, you set yourself up for judgment, for criticism, for a potential of a host of things. And you have to be very careful uh, who you show your things to. Uh, and, you know, lots of people are addicted to showing the, the one person that they shouldn't show their stuff to because they know they're going to get criticized. Um, and But it's not about the criticism. It's about how you... Uh, good morning, Kip. 
Thanks for watching. Um, it's how you deal with those things. So it's very important that the way you deal with negativity in what you want to be a positive world, the way you maintain positivity is your ability. You strengthen that muscle that anytime negativity comes towards you or you experience in your world, you have to figure out a way to let it go or to reframe it so that it doesn't mean, uh, it doesn't have a negative outcome. So that's very important. It's very important as a creative person. And the cool thing is, as creative people, as human beings, we are all creative, every single one of us, even the person that says, I'm not creative, he's only not creative because he says that. And that's important to acknowledge, is that what you say becomes flesh, right? We know this. Okay, so it's what, what you say and you concentrate on and you focus on for any given of time becomes a habit, it eventually becomes a condition, and eventually becomes a part of you. And the more that you habitualize that, the more it ingrains and becomes that circuit, right? So we got lots of circuits in our mind. We think about, um, let's say, uh, salad, right? Think about salad. It's like, oh, God, I don't have salad. You know, it's like this or that. Or we think about like, oh, God, it's the best thing ever. I like, love salad. You know, this is whatever it is that you focus on. Now, it's important to fill our life with as much positivity as we can because the goal, the goal is, uh, Kip says, I'm semi-retired, therefore I choose positive environment. Yes, excellent. Ken, good morning. Yeah, baby. Um, it, it does come down to that, Kip. It comes down to your choice and the quality of your choices. And some choices are very easy. You can choose to have a positive life. You can choose to reframe things uh, overall. But the, the, really the difficult ones are the ones that come out of nowhere. You're driving along, someone cuts you off. Uh, life figures out a way to test you when you're not looking. And those are the hardest parts. Those are the things that, that those are the things that I deal with. Those are the things that we all deal with on a daily basis. Hold on a second. Got to have a little fuel. How do you do that? You know, it's, um, it's a muscle. Uh, here's an example. You go to the gym for the first time. And uh, Johnny says, uh, you just said it, you set yourself up, a positive mindset, then direction with intent, good intent. Of course, absolutely. You have to know where you're going. But if you go to the gym the first time and you work out like crazy and the next day you feel like crap because your muscles are all sore and you, you know it's just like not a positive experience. But guess what happens? If you go back a second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time, for a year, you guys know what happens. You start to change, your physical body changes, your attitude changes, everything changes because you start to habitualize this process. And it is a process. You have to look at it de-emotionalized and look at it as a process, is that any great thing that we work towards is a process, one brick at a time uh, as we move through life, okay? So how do you stay positive? Uh, you can't look at your whole life. We have to look at today. Uh, today, you guys have chosen to come out, hang out with me, which is a great choice because we are all positive all the time and we're trying to help you to be strong, creative people. Now, we are live, so you guys can ask me any questions that you have uh, in regards to what's going on in your life. Uh, Johnny also says, you have said it over and over. You put out good juju in the world. It finds you and comes back. We like juju. We like juju. Uh, juju is good. It's good for us. Um, so uh, if, you, if you're going through something challenging, you're going through something that's, that's difficult, um, it's difficult. Uh, what makes it more difficult is, is our innate ability to dwell, to dwell on things. And uh, we don't want to dwell on things. We want to, well, well let me rephrase. We want to dwell on what we know is good for us. It, that's very important is that you can't dwell. It, that's the definition of insanity. The more you dwell on something negative and something that's hurtful, you, don't, you wouldn't logically want to do that. But we, we get into that mindset. That person said this, this person did that, and then we just kind of we think about that all the time and we don't know that those are the thoughts that we're putting out. We're going to get more stuff like that. So you have to be very careful. Like I said in an earlier art talk, we are going from ignorance to awareness. That's life right here on the, wait, hold on right there. Ignorance over here. I don't know what's going on. I have no idea. I'm complaining. Okay. Yeah. Look at all these guys. I don't know what's going on and I really have no idea what to do next. Well, what you got to do is you got to become aware that you're an idiot. So come on over here. So he goes over there and does that make any sense? That doesn't make any sense. Um, you guys get the point. Um, what else we got here? 
Okay, so uh, as I said, this is live, so it's interactive. It will be on YouTube later. Uh, you guys won't be able necessarily to ask, but you can watch this. But it's important. Um, this is of supreme importance. This is the most important, the most easy to understand, yet the most difficult thing to do in our life is because it's constantly coming up is that the butcher may be some guy down the street, maybe guy, a guy at the gas station, maybe someone that makes a comment about your car. Um, uh, but there's two sides to it, is that how do we react to negativity as it comes to us and our ability to strengthen uh, not putting negativity into the world. And it's very subtle. It's very subtle. Um, uh, this is where people get in trouble, is that... Uh, you can see clearly with what I'm saying is that you don't want to yell and scream at somebody and and uh, give them a hard time because that's that's bad for you, bad for them, bad for, for everything. Uh, and then what you put out in the world comes back to you. Uh, it's the subtle things. It's the subtle things. It is the the butcher that's up here because he's very strategic. Uh, and he sinks in there and he starts to tell you things that are not good for you. And you have to stop. Uh, you have to take a breath, you know, maybe count for five seconds, take a deep breath and say, I got this. I got this. Uh, Johnny says, what a great morning, a great start, always learning, have a great day. You too, Johnny. Um, uh, uh, Johnny is part of part of our artist group that's coming to the Murphy on May 11th for the Fireball Art Gallery. Sorry, I got to move forward a little bit. A lot of stuff that's going on. Okay, so uh, I want you guys to get out there today. I want you to kick some ass. I'm, I'm serious. I want you to get out there. I want you to put your best foot forward and any other appendage that you can think of. Move it forward, people. And and decide. Be deliberate about your day. Be deliberate. Uh, say, you know, this is the kind of day that I want to have. This is the day that I'm going to have. And that's it. That's all I'm, that's all I'm doing. So you want to be able to focus. Push your creativity. Whatever it is that you're working on today, uh, whether it's uh, making lunch for somebody, whether it's going over and seeing grandma, whatever it is. Um, Kip says, uh, with my wife having miss, I see crazy stuff every day. We just laugh at everything because we appreciate what we have. Nothing upsets me ever. We love life and each other. I'm sure it's because of the respect we have for each other. Well, um, it may be that and, uh, and a lot of other things, uh, Kip, because... Um, uh, that's awareness. And it's, you know, everybody's on a different level of the totem pole. And those people that are down here, uh, you know, they don't know that they're creating a challenging life for themselves. And the last thing they need is for us to put our foot on them or to criticize them for their inability to to create greatness for themselves. We want to have empathy. We want to have uh, compassion for those that are not there. So when you learn that someone who's coming up and criticizing you is coming from a place of pain, then you know that um, uh, you, you're you going to approach it differently and your reaction is going to be different. And I want you guys to think about that today, okay? So go out in your worlds, your little microcosm, uh, your little own personal universes, and uh, and make shit happen. I, I, I can say bad words, right? I can, is that okay? It's live. You know, I can say bad words. Uh, I use bad words. That's just kind of what happens. Um, so you got to get out there and, t and today to do that. But before I go, I want to let you guys uh, up, update you guys on a couple of things. Uh, one thing is uh, GDRF is having a track day invitational, which is right here. I announced that on the blog. Uh, check that out. I know it's backwards, but April 4th at the Auto Club Speedway. Uh, be a lot of fun uh, with those guys. They're going to be driving all kinds of cool cars. And you should go check that out, uh, jdrftrackday.com. Uh, go check them out. Uh, hi, Jennifer. Oh, yeah. Kip says, thank you. Of course. Of course. Um, I am the celebrity guest for the Muckenthaler show, which is happening in uh, May also. And that's going to be very cool. So if you're going to go to the Muck, I will see you there. Uh, we have three magazines that are coming out. I'm writing an article as of today for Hidden Hills Magazine on vintage trucks. That's going to be coming out next month. Uh, very cool. We're going to grab some trucks from the Murphy and do some fun stuff with that. We got a big article coming out in Via Corsa. Uh, I don't think it's out yet, but it should be out. Uh, lots of coloring book stuff that's happening. And then we, we have an article or something written up in Vet Magazine. So that's going to be neat if you're a Corvette guy. I, my favorite is the one with four wheels. It doesn't really matter, you know, including Porsches. Backwards Porsches, you know, that, that to me doesn't really matter. Okay, so stay positive today. Stay focused. Um, uh, you're not going to get where you want to go if you don't know where you want to go. So uh, close your eyes, 
think about that. Uh, success is not about being financially successful. That's one aspect. Uh, success in this life is about fulfillment. It's about happiness. Uh, you want to be a happiness millionaire. That's the way it goes. You can make $50,000 a year, $20,000 a year, whatever, whatever number you have. And if you're happy doing that, then you've won the game right? Okay. So it doesn't matter uh, what your goal is. Uh, it should be specific to you as long as you're happy, as long as it makes you happy. And this makes me happy with you guys hanging out. Okay. Be sure to check out today's vlog. Uh, it's number 903. It was just posted on our YouTube channel and our blog at fireballtim.com. Lots of fun stuff there on the 2019 Mazda uh, MX-5. Okay, guys, have a spectacular day and we'll talk to you soon. Ciao.